फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट बिफोर एडवर्टिंग टू द डिस्कशन ऑन वेरियस इशूज दैट हैव बीन रेज इन दीज पटिशंस इट वुड बी एपोजिट टू फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द आधार एक्ट एंड हाउ इट ऑपरेट्स हैविंग रिगार्ड टू वेरियस प्रोविजन्स कंटेंड देयर इन यू आई डी ए आई वॉज एस्टाब्लिश इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड नाइन बाय एन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव ऑर्डर दैट इज बाय रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया वाइड नोटिफिकेशन डेटेड जनवरी ट्वेंटी एट टू थाउजेंड नाइन द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द एस्टाब्लिशमेंट ऑफ द सेड अथॉरिटी वॉज प्राइमरली टू ले डाउन पॉलिसीज टू इम्प्लीमेंट द यूनिक आइडेंटिफिकेशन स्कीम ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट बाय विच रेजिडेंट्स ऑफ इंडिया वर टू बी प्रोवाइडेड यूनिक आइडेंटिटी नंबर द एम वॉज टू सर्व दिस एज प्रूफ ऑफ आइडेंटिटी विच इज़ यूनिक इन नेचर एज ईच इंडिविजुअल विल हैव ओनली वन आइडेंटिटी विद नो चांस ऑफ डुप्लीकेशन एन अदर ऑब्जेक्टिव वॉज दैट दिस नंबर could be used for identification of beneficiaries for transfer of benefits subsidies services and other purposes this was the primary reason which to ensure correct identification of targeted beneficiaries for delivery of various subsidies benefits services grants wages and other social benefits schemes which are funded from the consolidated fund of india it was felt that the identification of real and genuine beneficiaries had become a challenge for the government in the writ petition number 494 of 2012 and connected matters it was becoming difficult to ensure that the subsidies benefits and services reach to intended beneficiaries as per the government failure to establish identity was proving to be major hindrance for the successful implementation of the welfare programs and it was hitting hard the marginalized section of the society and in particular women children senior citizens persons with disabilities migrant unskilled and organized workers and nomadic tribes after the establishment of the authority wide the aforesaid notification it started enrolling the residents of this country under the uis these residents also started using aadhar number allotted to them it was found that over a period of time the use of aadhar number had increased many fold this necessitated ensuring security of the information contained in aadhar number as well as the information that generated as a result of the use of aadhar numbers it was thus felt desirable to back the system with a parliamentary enactment as all these three kinds of welfare measures are sought to be extended to the marginalized section of society a collective reading thereof would show that the purpose is to expand the coverage of all kinds of aid support utility or assistance which may be extended with the support of the consolidated fund of india with the objective of targeted delivery it is also clear that various schemes which can be contemplated by the aforesaid provisions relate to vulnerable and weaker section of the society whether the social justice scheme would involve a subsidy or a benefit or a service is merely a matter of the nature and extent of assistance and would depend upon the economic capacity of the state even 
where the state subsidizes in part the objective of emancipation of the poor remains the goal. Stop.